Hi everyone, so it's been a while, quite a while, since I've done any sort of YouTube videos and I thought I might just try and start getting back into it now that I have a little bit more free time and um, I just want to start like doing it more as my hobby and showing like my planning system, my Bible journaling system, my, um, just for me really, just to kind of get away from Instagram kind of thing, so um i ordered this planner yesterday um on amazon and i did the one the next day before one o'clock shipping thing so that's um to do with the color as well so um i i it's it's to basically pull me away from the current system that i'm using for this system right now i'm currently using a stalogy notebook for um what this planet is about and i want to get away from the notebook drawing lines um like kind of doing it myself and just having like a ready-made system so this is what this is about um it's a clever fox brand um, i've always seen this brand but i've never actually researched it or gone into it and looked at the different stuff that they have and I'm telling you yesterday when i finally did um, i'm gonna sit down because i'm getting out of breath when i finally did research all their stuff um basically i want more but i'm not i'm gonna resist so this is um and i'm gonna be saying um a lot because that's how i talk and if it bothers you just um don't watch <laughs> So this is the Clever Fox budget planner. So my current um, finance system is in this. Now this isn't a real Louis Vuitton. We'll save that for another time. So I am currently using a Stalogy notebook to do all my finances. So I won't flip through it because it's quite full. And I've got like uh, that. Wait that amount of pages left to use for this so I'm trying to get away from the notebook and go actually go into a planner system so the budget planner so this is how it comes I've already unboxed it because it comes wrapped in this and then a box and you have a guide to show how you use it. Um, I'll try and like, oh, I'll just not the camera, sorry. And that's how it is. This guide is also on Amazon as well, so you can actually see the pictures of how you use it and like zoom in. Then you get warranty card which i've never seen before with a planner but that's a good thing because if i go into it and i don't like it um the way it is then i could always like do that but i don't think i will then it comes as i said i've already opened this have i said but i've not gone through it then it comes wrapped in another plastic so they do think about water damage and stuff on shipping journey Sorry, I just had to pause the video for a minute because I had someone come into the room and it was just distracting. So they do package it really good for like water damage, damage during shipping, to prevent water damage during shipping. So that's how it comes. Um, it's hardcover and a nice dark navy blue. It's showing up a lot darker on the camera than it is in um in my natural lighting but yeah then you get two sticker sheets and these it's showing up a lot of gold on the camera but it's actually really nice rose gold sorry the camera's shaking again and then you get this as well which is um to help prevent water damage Okay, so I'll put these over there and then we will go through the planner. So 
So it's a Clever Fox brand monthly, I mean budget planner, bill organiser and it's up, undated as well. Um, it's a monthly budget planner. You get calendars, expense tracker, debt tracker, savings tracker, regular bill tracker, pockets for bills which is like the um, colourful ones and it lasts for 12 months which is really good. Um, I got the blue as you can see and it's hardcover 8 by 9.5 inches um, yeah so that's the front then you get into the planner so this is um yeah um I'd have preferred like a logo on the front and not there but okay so clever fox budget planner and bill organizer if found if you find this i can't speak if you found this please be kind and return it to and put my name there i will not put my phone number i'll put my email address and my social media account and your reward so yeah <laughs> and then you get into the pages for pages feel um i cut my nails last night and i used um gel nail polish so like it's hard to grab anything and turn anything so pages feel like quite nice and sturdy and i'll do a pen test at the end as well just to check that the pens i use and um gonna bleed through i mean i don't mind bleed through because it quite it looks quite nice on the back when you've got like pen um, dentation on the front written on the front and the dentation on the back so it's all right for me but i'll just test my pens anyway so you get the my financial goals so you get 10 goals which i'm not gonna fill out all 10 because listen yeah i need to save up this is the reason behind this um my mind map so like you can do a mind map of your main goal or like different goals and then have like branches going off of how to get that goal then my strategy so new skills i need to learn to achieve my financial goal <laughs> my money affirmation for wealth and prosperity action i will take to earn more money stop spending um, actually, I would take to cut my expenses, start spending, and then you get into the budgeting side of it. So, um, I'll bring it up a little bit. You have months goal, checklist, income, savings, and then you have a monthly calendar. Then you have monthly budget. Okay, um, I actually quite like this. Food, transportation, healthcare, entertainment, loans, and other. So any other things that's not always um, part of your monthly billing system. Expenses tracker. So everything there. I think quite a few actually. I mean, I don't have all that much. So and then monthly budget review. So that's the and then you get a folder for receipts and re receipts 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 and bills um and then you get a quote and then it restarts so one second i think that the color on each month matches the folder I think that's what they've done. Yes. You get a quote, then you get the monthly, and then you get the folder. So I think it just carries on like that. I really like this colour. Purple is my favourite colour. It used to be red when I was younger. And then I got two purple. This is a nice colour. 
this is like the dark green the other one that i wanted to get but wouldn't come till later on in the day today so i got the blue i mean patience i could have had patience and got the color that i wanted but that's neither here nor there i can start setting out my monthly budgeting system in this as soon as i come off here And then there's purple again, so that's like a nice purple. So it's got like that purple there, that's like a burgundy purple, and then that's like a light. Ooh, that's the same actually. Now this one's a little bit lighter. You get like a teal blue. There's a darker purple, this is like a plum purple. Quite a lot of purple in here, which is good because I like purple. <laughs> That's like a rosy red. Okay, so it is 12 months. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 folders for each month. And then you go into like the savings tracker part. So this is definitely going to get used. Debt tracker. So you get can't find anything. So one, two, three, four for savings. One, two, one, two, three, four for debt. One for holiday, probably won't be able, ever using this, but they help. And the regular bills. So, and this is just everything that's regular every month, not like the miscellaneous spendings that I do. Summary of the year. And then you get some note pages at the back. Oh, okay. And then the hard cover at the back. Now, I always struggle to close um, all rings. But I actually really like it. Only thing is, though, the this bothers me. You see how it's like bulking there? And then it's like... Okay. I know it's because of the folders, but it really... Um, it's not straight. It's... It's just not straight and I've just noticed something and when I said that this should have been at the front it is <laughs> maybe I should have looked first but it is at the front and I like how plain and clean it looks and it just blends into the cover so that's a plus I really like that and then cool actually really really like it so I'm gonna dive into it transition out of that strategy notebook and may or may not come back and show how I've, how I've been using it only because my finances are quite personal to me some people like showing all their finances but I don't because it's not that good but it's not bad but it's just private to me so I might do so I did say I was going to do a pen test and I completely forgot and kind of ended the video. So if it looks a bit choppy, it's because I've had to cut and refilmed and put in. So anyway, right, so I'm going to do a pen test on, um, I'll do it on the last page actually. And these are all the pens and highlighters and markers that I use. Well, they're not really highlighters. These are Crayola. Um, these are the highlighters that I'm currently using. These are Crayola. Um, oh, pastel. Uh, brand? Not brand. Pa pastel pack, because I've got different packs. So that's the pastel pack that I use. And these are from the Crayola Color World box pack. And these are the ones that I currently use. And then I have my fountain pens that I use. Now these are all Twisby. That's a Twisby Echo 
yeah it's an echo and then this is the twisby diamond <laughs> the word was the word wasn't coming to me and this is the twisby limited edition horse something 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 so if you can see it's um got the logo on there so and then that's the twisby 580 ALR and then that's just the Pico. This is my favorite pen of all time. This is the Monteverde Ritzma. Ritzma. And this is one of the new ones that they came out with. But I have the fountain pen and I have the rollerball. And this rollerball has. This has turned into a pen video. <laughs> this rollerball has the medium point in which the. Oh, no! If you ever get this pen, be careful because this thing falls out and there's been times where it fell out and I couldn't find it for ages because it's so thin and unrecognisable on, on my carpet. And the flow in this one is really, really good. So that's my all-time favourite pen. Okay. okay, so maybe I shouldn't have come back and done this video, but here we go. Anyway. This is my Lamy and it has a bold point, I think. Yeah, bold. And it's a blue one. So I like having different colour pens at my hand to um, write with. Then I have these two pens. Now these pens, um, they were specially made by a lady on Instagram. If you want, I can li link the Instagram account. She's in the USA, so yeah. And then I've just got my correction tape. So I'll do that as well, because this paper's quite white. So I want to see how my correction tape um, blends in. Right, so let's do this one first. So this is the extra fine. See, this bothers me so much. The way it's like puffed up there, but thin down there. My hand wouldn't rest properly, but <sighs> never mind. Right, so this is my limited edition Twisby. Let's just write, hello, you. Okay. I'll just write with them all and then I'll see what the ghosting or bleeding through is at the back this is the fine how are you i can't write now and this is another extra fine i literally only have i've only had this for about two weeks but i've been writing i've had to refill it so many times because i've write so much with it um i um okay and then my favorite pen and can you hear that pop it's magnetized so it just like literally just goes back onto it anyway <laughs> um hello you um camera please stop shaking <laughs> i'll see how fast that dries as well so okay that dries quick i should have done it with this one well that one's still um wet but that's fountain pen for you so let's try my okay there's no dragging or blade oh um what's it called oh why is it not closing um let's try the crayola oh shaking again no dragging okay so the pen dries fountain pen and my wet it's very wet rollerball dries really quick and it doesn't drag okay let's try these um, these are the paper mates refills inside anyway, so um that's right, happy 
wind is day i've got to sound it out right how it's because i can't when i can't spell wednesday <laughs> um happy hump day and that's not how i write i write more like looks the same but i write more neater i'm just doing that for now okay so let's try the flammy um it's mid week already and i like to put like what day is it it's the 20th of the 10th 21 when i do scribbles i like putting the date on it to know like the day that i've scribbled something just drop my glasses again okay so that doesn't spread let's try the crayola that doesn't spread <laughs> oh that spreads a little bit the lamy spreads a little bit i'll put it up closer so you can see so the lamy spread a little bit in between there but the lamy is quite wet as well because it's a bold ink um pen so okay let's try my correction tape so it's quite white you can see it looks a bit yellow on here because the paper's really nice white but um that wouldn't bother me okay so now let's see how it looks on the back of the page can never twist all rings anyway dun, 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 dun. not a piece of ghosting oh my gosh this is so good like you can hardly tell that anything's written on the back stop shaking um you can obviously tell from the indentation but you can't see any um ink residue or anything on the back so definitely great paper so that's my pen test in the clever fox budget planner and i'm hoping that the other planners the papers either the same or just as good as because i'm still tempted to buy one but yeah so this is the clever fox brand it's available on amazon i'm not sure if they have a website so you'll have to search for that one but um but yeah if you stumbled on my video thank you for watching i um i'll try and do more videos i said this in my last video a long time ago but i'll try and do more videos and um yeah if you like this one to give it a thumbs up if you want to see if i'm gonna carry on putting more videos up you can always um subscribe and yeah Thank you for watching. Bye.